Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> so I entered this long here. I entered it when it was over here. Uh, let's go over why I entered it. Uh, uh, let's go here. So we're going with daily. I don't know if you guys saw yesterday and got destroyed. Oh. Right. I actually ended up shorting it. I have it live as well. It's on my YouTube channel. You guys can see it. Just go search up uh, 430 Asian short. Um, okay. So, you know, we got the, you know, we got a massive, uh, massive move down. Uh, we should probably be going back up to here. I mean, we did retest this previous uh, area already. Um, but it looks like we should, you know, be, be going over here, you know, 63 cents around here. And I'm even thinking over here in this area. Uh, okay. Um, and I think we're going to go up here before we go back down to our new lows at 51. I think we're going to be retesting this area uh, next month. Um, all right, let's go over, let's go over uh, what we got here. So um, because of that, I'm, I'm, I'm bullish. I'm doing buys. Um, I actually, I did a sell earlier today. That's also live. I have it on there. Um, on my other strategy, remember guys, my, I have two strategies. One where, you know, um, you got impulse correction and then I put the trend line on the correction. As soon as it breaks the correction, the trend line, then I enter a sell. I'm currently in a long right now, right? But this morning, earlier today, I was on the sell. All right, let's go over. So here's the daily. Let's go ahead and break that down. Send to what we can get here. Okay. So you got a four hour bars here. And uh, okay. So, um, you know, we, we went down, right? We, we broken these, these highs right here. And this looks like some, you know, good momentum. This is a good bar. Okay. Good bullish, right? So after that massive, um, you know, run down, I think that we're, we're going to be going up now. So here we got this and we got the retest, right? So you got the retest. Now we have a wick up here. So you see this wick? My strategy is saying that this wick is going to get filled. So if this is going to get filled by this bar, meaning we're going to go like this, how is that going to look like on the one hour? Let's look at it. Well, you got that nice candle up. And you got your other one that went down, closed here. That was your other four hour bar, right? Right here. So now we're on this four hour bar. This four hour bar um, should be going, filling this up here, right? So let's see how that'll look like. So what is that gonna look like? That's gonna, okay, so we went up, down, retest went up, down. So this next one should be, you know, be going up doesn't mean it's going to happen but this is based off the strategy okay so how is it how is it going to look like in here so once it was down here i placed a buy at uh, i believe it was 30 somewhere around there 29 somewhere here yeah, right because we we went down now i see that there's bars coming up so i'm placing a buy off this retest to fill in this this space fill in that wick which is this one All right, 612, 6126. Let's go back. 6126 right there. So impulse correction, impulse. So I'm placing buys after I see a bar move up. I see it go down, retesting. That's when I'm placing the buy on, you know, the 15 minute. Once you see, start seeing it go down here retest and we see momentum coming up that's when i place the buy my stop loss at five nine seven one i believe right here just beneath the support beneath this last candle all right that's why i placed that buy place it beneath the next one hour candle i already actually took some profits earlier as it went up close like around here it took some profits since it cleared this I always take profits to when I look to the left, I see if there's any previous support. I mean, resistance in a buy, then I'll take profits off the table because it tends to go above and then re go down again. Um, that's um, on my posted. The, I posted there and I posted everything here. Took profits 25% at 612. Place the buy. Here's a sell today. Here was the sell. You know, we've got your impulse correction. And then you put the trend line from the correction as you can see it broke 
I entered at this area. Let's look at how that trade went. Took, my, took uh, half my profits at this point. Put my stop loss in entry. And it actually went all the way down here exactly. It literally just bounced back up. This is a 3A2. Okay. And as you can see, here's a 3A2. 3A2 right there, 3A2 and the VWAP. So I actually closed before it got there though. Uh, it was like somewhere around here. Here's uh, my buy now, which I placed at 604. Ten more minutes before this next next bar closes the next thirty minute, and then the Asian session is going to come. Most likely, more likely than not, the Asian session might be bringing this back up here, or it might just be shutting us down. It's probably going to be a lot of volume coming in, so we'll see. But I'm, um, you know, I'm probably going to take some more profits if it fills it in here. Um, Asian session, I mean, I believe it's already pre Asian, so just don't want to uh, want to be able to manage risk. So, this was a wick fill trade, and the, the other one was a impulse correction trend line break trade. I only use two strategies, guys. Wick fill trades I'll do during trading hours. Asian New York, non-trading hours. These work very well. Impulse correction, break of correction during non-trading hours work very well. All right. All right. Make sure you guys to subscribe to my channel. Follow my Instagrams. It's the Grizz apps. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean. Thank you very much for subscribing if you have. Got 53 subscribers, hey. Amazing. We lost one of my friends, Samantha, we found her. Congratulations. Let's go to my, by the way, I learned, I learned a lot of my trading from this guy, Roger Banks. Subscribe to him. He's the one that teaches the Wickfill strategy. Um, Let's go to my playlist real quick. Also subscribe to my partners, my partners uh, stuff as well. I see if I click right here. It's these guys, Johnny and Robert. So he trades uh, Bitcoin, he trades with me, he trades sports, sports trading. At, um, look them up, Johnny Trades and SportsX Capital. See, it looks like it looks like we're gonna be here. So I'm in this wick right here. Okay, I did add a little bit more when it went down on the 10 minute. I added, okay, I saw this close here. I saw that market cipher was starting to scoop up. And I saw this trend line here. So I added a little bit more to my position. Just a bit more. And it actually gave me a better pricing because I added it somewhere around here, like 617, I think 6017, somewhere right here. So I took profit and then whatever I took earlier, I, I just added it back in because I have confidence in this trade that this is going to happen. So here are my trade results so far. Uh, you know, that I have live 30 trades, 21 wins, nine losses. I mean, 30 trades. This would be 31, though. So I'll post it once I'm done with this trade. I'll post it. It'll be 31, though. What percentage is that? I don't know. I think it's a 60%. Yeah, 58% hit rate. Not bad. Learning, trying to get, trying to get better by following my plan and you know sticking to um, good risk management, taking my profits, 
also adding to your position when it retests and you know it's going. That's one thing I've been learning to do. Uh, you know, assuming your analysis is correct and you feel strong about the 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 trend and the direction, highly recommend adding back. Should be getting some volume here shortly, guys. Should be getting some volume. Volume. Uh, uh. Pizza so bomb, bro. Look at that shit. God damn. We're talking about this. It's actually Miami. They were actually talking about Johnny was talking about this pizza, amazing pizza that he got in LA. And then we looked it up and they have it in Miami, which is on here. I'm in Miami, dude. It's amazing. Prince Street Pizza. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. See that, guys? See that? Oh. See how we get some sort of like congestion there? Let's see. good though All volume should be picking up uh here shortly helping us get helping us close you know if, in f three minutes if we close above this these candles six uh which we should more likely than not if we close above we should be having a nice fast push up right why? Because we've closed above resistance. Clear freeway. There's no, there's not like, da, 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 you know, like it is right here. See, you see this traffic? It caused this, you know, retest down there. But if we close above here, has confirms there's a, confirms the bulls have taken over above this resistance. It should continue up to fill in this wick, to fill in this. Which I'll probably put my stop loss like beneath it for the spread. Hmm. Six one two oh. I'll I'll fix that. I'll make just under 2% on this one. Uh, I risked 1%. So this is a 1% in my account. It's like probably one, well, it does, it does right there, 1.67. So what we want is a close above here. Minutes. If we do, that's great. If we don't, I may put my stop loss at break even. Um, don't know if we can have another massive, you know. Shot down. Just don't want that happening. Let's 
So it looks like we're like going to be consolidating in this zone. As you can see, all the candles have broken in here. So we're probably retesting this, this zone here. See what we got, guys. We can go in a small time frame to see kind of what's going on. So as you can see, we went down to retest um, support, resistance support. And we should be shooting up here within the next hour or two. So if two more hours would be four more of these. Two hours, nine, that should be enough for that session. Let's see how much price, what's the, just over 1%, no, we can get 1.3% 1, 1 move in the Asian session, easy. Easily. Let's go, let's go. Oh shit. I also have a take profit, some take profit at 6095. As I'm expecting it to kind of retest this zone after it hits 695, I just want to get some profit out of the way. Uh, by the way, it's the 50% profit up here. My take profit at six. No, I'll put it at six zero two one. Okay. 
Pasty here, we tend to get rejected a lot. I'm gonna need more volume to push through that, that zone. But it is acting as strong resistance, dude. Oh, got an EMA. And, you know, on, on the weekends, there's like, um, on the weekends, algorithmic and, you know, all algorithmic bots trade on the weekend. So a lot of the times, algorithmic bots are shorting the EMAs. So that's what it could be. We can be getting some volume from these stupid algorithmic bots that are shorting it. <clears throat> you know, because on the 15 minute, it definitely, it's definitely like I see rejected it there, rejected there. So it's more likely not bots until, you know, we can break above a couple candles, stay there. But I mean, if there's a lot of shorting and the bulls take over, then that means that the bulls will engulf all these shorts and make the price go up faster. Just use it as jet fuel up. And then that should take us out in profit. It'll be another successful trading day. You see this? This zone, and it just gets boom. That's normally what happens. See how these, see how this was getting shorted more likely by the bots. And then as they start losing momentum, the bulls take over, and these, their shorts get engulfed, used as fuel, as a fast move up. And that's most likely what's going to happen again here catapulting us to our take profit. <laughs> there we go. Amazing. Oh, we get, by the way, guys, we dropped, uh, we did like a bunch of content today. There we go. There we go. As we clear this area, 6070. You know, after we clear 670, 6070, we should we should be getting a nice pump up.
I'm gonna have a take profit at 6095 takes them out. And we should get a retest and finish through. But I'm thinking that we're just gonna pull push right through. All right, see if we don't get shorted here. We don't get shorted there. There we go. See, we were able to okay. Should be up there from there now. We should get a retest to here. Maybe even to here, we'll get a retest. And if we get to retest here, most likely gonna be adding more. Okay, we, re we retested this zone right here. Let's get some fucking crypto memes in this bitch. Yo. Yo. Fucking, how did your games go? I don't know. I think they went well. Fucking. Uh, yeah, because tomorrow, like, so we can analyze the market. You know, you can look at the numbers, and then, and then, uh, and then um, we can go based off all that shit, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think I want to do parlays anymore, because I think, um, I don't yeah, think I won that one, no, but. Like, yeah, parlays are, uh, parlays are not, not, yeah. not, not the way to go. Yeah, like I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that strategy that I, that I, that I have on there, bro. That way, it's easier for me, and I don't have to think, you know. Because if I have a strategy, I can stick with it. Then, like, I have no mental resistance. I don't have any, like, uh, I don't have like any, any gas that I'm burning, or you know, I gotta just go. Yeah, no, yeah, no probably yeah. Either, like once in a long time. Yeah, but yeah. Not, uh, not like something that's gonna like help and build up, you know. Yeah, like I think I would have to know like confidently. I don't know. More. I mean, it doesn't. I don't know. I, I see it. Yeah, I, yeah. Since I don't really. Yeah, but yeah, I'd rather just stick to that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I mean, it worked before the one that we. we... Well, team, I know, but it, that will work a percentage of times. You know, so yeah, like we would have to like get together and get it down because how this, how they'll get you is they'll get let you get you they'll let's. They'll get everybody all nice and happy, and then they'll, they'll flip it. Like, they're going to – they'll be able to flip it. Cause, so, who, who did you pick? And then we can look at the game right now. Oh. Uh, I, I know you picked the Nationals, right? 
You picked the Nationals, right? Oh yeah, I, I put it all on there. I put it all. Um, no, no, the parlay one was the one that remember the one that the New York Yankees and the other one. Yeah, that one fucking yeah. One with that yeah. We we would have won one and fucking lost the other one. It's just the pricing was too expensive on that. That's why I put it together. Yeah. Uh, the ones that I chose, I put them on. I don't know who I chose. I put them on there. Um, you put them on the Discord. Yeah. What are they on the channels owners? Uh yeah. Yeah, I pull, I'm going to post all those on the channel owners. I have them all right there. Yeah, I have them all right there. Diamondbacks, the Reds, Nationals. I think I think already two. I think two already hit good. Uh, Nationals hit. That's, that one hit. Uh, let me see here. Nationals. I know that the – I know that – Yeah, I think uh, the only one that hit was the Nationals, bro. Oh, let me see. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Like, they, like, the, the, like, what they'll do here, and that's what we have to catch. It's like, what are the days that that are like that the underdog are going to be winning? And that was a day yesterday, you know. So we have to see like the patterns on when they do that. Yeah, let's see. Because they'll have days where it's like all the all the. All the like the the people that are supposed to win, they're gonna win like ten out of ten out of like twelve games. So right? so I think I lost those right. The Detroit Tigers. Yeah, they lost too. The only one that won is the National one. Okay, so yeah, Reds lost, Tigers lost, Pirates lost, um, Diamondbacks lost, Diamondbacks lost. But but you see though, you see you see how they like they'll they'll get you to believe that. Like it's not like what I'm saying is they do that to the public in general though, right? Yeah. So the the strategy is fine in regards to how you're doing it. It's just we just gotta dissect it more, you know. Um, and and that's how we'll be able to, like be able to capitalize on these. Wait, because so sure. it says strategy, uh, that strategy is good. Wait, Arizona Diamondbacks they lost? Well, how yeah, they, they they lost that. Uh, they lost like literally in the at, like uh towards the end, bro. Oh damn, yeah, because they because they gave me the money, they took it away. Oh damn. All right. So that means yeah, they literally let me see one, two, three, four, five. So that means I lost. They were up five three and then fucking they gave up four runs and like towards the end, like in the seventh inning. There's only nine innings in the, in the seventh inning, that's where that's where they, uh, but that that's how that's how they do it, bro. That I'm telling you that this is how they these motherfuckers do it, dude. How do I see where I got open bets? I think that I don't have any more open bets. Huh? No, they're um the only I'm sure the only the nationals that you have right now is the nationals. That's the only that that one's gonna win for sure. It's still going, but they're gonna win. It's eleven five. Yeah, so that means I lost a lot of them. Then mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> yeah, but that that's what I'm saying. That that's how that like um. That that's why we have to get like a strategy on when they do this shit because they 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 do this too you know like I, I know for a fact we can dissect it easily you know it's just like a matter of what like what days you know or we got to look at like the like the the, the um the fucking app that I have you know uh, where the, all the money's flowing and like all that stuff and yeah I, I, a lot a lot of the underdogs won like they do that you know where a lot of the underdogs will win you know yeah. Um, but I just think I think it just depends like on like the teams too. Um, I don't know, I, but I'm tell, like I'm on, I'm looking at like a lot of the games today. There is some like the underdogs that won too, you know. Yeah. Um, so, um, but I think like it does have it has to do too like with like a matchup, you know, like 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 yeah, I know, like, like I if how good they are, are the ones. Notice, like they'll give you like they'll give you like the opportunity to win but it's like you have to capitalize on it you know mm-hmm. um so like that doesn't look too rigged like, yeah in basketball today right like uh like the this warriors game right the grizzlies game um um uh, freaking the the warriors won uh but but they freaking they gave like the Grizzlies like the whole, like a big opportunity right they kicked out one of the best players from the Warriors mm-hmm. so basically they're basically giving them the let's tell hey dog like we're helping you out here fucking take advantage of it you know and they lost in the last seconds damn but, 
But yeah, it's like they give you like it's weird how it works, but it they give you the opportunity like to, like where you can capitalize on it. It's it's fucking weird, bro. What what I'm gonna do too, bro, is I'm actually so I'm gonna place these bets with that with the one that I like with with that, and then I'm gonna cash out whenever I'm winning. That's another good shot. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't yeah. like really, you know what I mean? Like, it means something yeah. better than nothing, you know? Yeah, because, like, well, because, like, on one of them, on the, or whichever ones, I could have cashed out and made some money. But it's the same thing as trading, bro. It's like, you take profits when you're, you know, when when you're in there, you take some profits out of the table. Take some, so I'm just going to do that, you know? I'm just going to yeah. go in and out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, a, yeah, I mean, that's another strategy get in get out you know yeah so like the way i'm doing it yeah is i'm just i'm just going with the ones that the the underdogs the ones that have like the plus and then the ones that have like the least money on them and that has pros like that's how i'm just i'm just gonna do it that way yeah i'm gonna review the game because i'll let you know like who has like who like who's good you know like who's gonna be able to sustain a game you know because that matters too you know like yeah like pitching matter like this team's gonna be able to hold on and not fuck up the game you know so Oh, that, that, all that, oh yeah, all that shit matters too, you know. So yeah, uh, I'm just trying to systemize. Look, bro, because look, watch, watch. Uh, like, so check it out. If that's the case, then that means that I would have that we would have to be online at during those times, you know. Because what I'm doing is I'm basically looking at that, placing the bets, not looking at this shit at all, and that way I can focus on this, you know. Damn. Yeah. Kill it, you know, like yeah, I lost, I lost like fucking yeah, like some money on purpose so I can just make that shit back myself, you know, because I feel like I was just like, you know, like. So I'm just gonna some take some profits. One second, yeah. I got you. Just my my shit right now is my trade's going really good right now, so I'm just gonna ah. Uh, I told Mark's like, oh, dude, can I get a monthly? I'm like, I don't even want to. Hey, you want to do the... Let me see here one second. Um... Yeah, because I'm trying to do it, bro. So we're like, I don't need, like, if I'm going to do it, then we can do that. But um, I, I wouldn't know, like, how to cash That's out. What I'm saying, like, we don't need to focus on it. It, it, it. Like, you don't have to. I'm just saying we just, like, obviously get on and just look at everything, you know, and go from there, you know? Yeah. And then make the picks from there, you know? I'll give you my, I'll look at the games and I'll look at the, like, who they're, they're matching up against. And then you can just look at the numbers and, we can just match it up from there. It's, it shouldn't be hard at all. Yeah. And then just look at, um, just look at the fucking, uh, yeah, like the trends, you know, like that. That's what, it, that's what I, that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm just looking at the last uh, few days, the trends and everything, see what happens. But everything changes because then they start playing like. But I mean, yeah, it's, we'll be able to figure it out. Yes. Which, which right now, XRP. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many trades did you do today? This is my second one. This is my last one. That's the last one. Yeah, this will be my last one. Oh. Yeah, I only did today because I lost that one today earlier today. It was a good chunk, so I'm I'm just gonna chill. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll get well. I was kind so like that we can game plan tomorrow. We'll get on and then we can just look over everything. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. good, bro. All right, for sure, Doc. I'll All right. You tomorrow, man. Okay, I'll see you. Later, bro. Later, man. Amazing guys, amazing. Good stop loss at entry. Amazing. 
Another one trade, guys. Another one trade. Another one trade. Where are we at now? So you don't really care about the both see 29 divided by 22. Yeah, 60% one rate. Look at that. Look at that. Fill that wicked. Amazing guys. What do you guys think? Another good session. Another good session. Just thinking if I should just take it all out. Close it all, guys. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. Amazing, guys. Amazing. So today was a long. I'm going to be closing this out, guys. You guys have an amazing day, okay? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.